I am going to be installing Ethernet to most of the rooms in my 20, roughly 2,400 square foot two-story home. Built in 1997, does not have Ethernet, so I want to do this. Um, I have to install cable everywhere. However, I wanted to kind of show you what I'm going to have set up here for my rack before. Um, I have a TP-Link uh, TL-SG-1024DE uh, switch. It is a easy smart switch, 24 port, uh, and that is installed here on the rack. Uh, it came with the rack mount um, hardware. And I have purchased a pack of 20 one-foot Cat6 Ethernet patch cables. Uh, I figured I would rather buy these instead of doing them myself. Just felt like it would be way too tedious. Um, so, I don't know if you can see this down here. Port 1 on the switch, I'm going to be putting the WAN in. And the rest is going to be going to the patch panel. Uh, the plan is... And this is probably going to look 10 times cooler, actually, once it's set up. The plan is uh, we're going to do reserved, one, two, three, four, into, actually, this is also probably going to be reserved as well. So one and two are reserved. Three, four, five, six are going to be going to the living room. Seven, eight are going to be going to the master bedroom. Nine, ten are going to be going to bedroom number one. 11, 12 will be going to bedroom number 2, 13, 14, 15, and 16 will be going to, uh, we have this recreation room over the garage, uh, 17, 18, 19, and 20 are going to be uh, in the basement because I do eventually want to have some uh, keystone jacks set up in the basement for land parties, and then 21 through 24 will be empty. Um, probably eventually going to add NAS to the, you know, at least these two ports here. Um, and then who knows what will happen here. I think this is plenty. Um, I have the rack mounting equipment tape there and the CD, which who needs CDs anymore? But hey, why not? I kept it. Um, so you can see now when I have to actually go and when I do the cable drop runs, um, I'm going to pull this back out. I just have it in here for now so that way at least everything's together on the rack. I'll pull this out and then I will have to punch down each individual jack. I have a punching tool for that. Um, I've done it before, so it's pretty easy. And then this is a powered switch, so I have the power here. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna wanna put in eventually, uh, I'll probably throw in maybe a rack-mounted NAS here, uh, and then probably throw a UPS in somewhere here with a surge on it as well. So next up is gonna be for me to uh, mount this downstairs in the basement. I'm not sure if I'm going to do um, on the concrete or on wood. I can do either or. There's holes back here for me to do that. And then once I have that mounted, uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and first run the four jacks here, or the four drops here, uh, to the living room because that's going to be really easy to do from the basement to the first floor. The rest of these, with the exception of these last four, so this is going to be going to the basement. All of these here are going to have to be run upstairs. So I'm going to have to go in the attic. I'm going to have to do some finagling. But this is the concept of it. And then we'll show you what it looks like once it's mounted. 